So just kind of jump right back into it, I guess. Yeah, why <laughs> right? not? So, so yeah, so it's the mind reels. We're back with uh, with a little thing we're calling science friction. Um, Virtually back, doing and, a little fun thing. Right, Sue. It's been forever. I know. It's like you know, COVID years. Happened. We could say literally we, years. Literally now. years. Yeah, yeah. The last time we saw each other was at a CBC thing. Just wild. Mm-hmm. Crazy. Well, that's like not in twenty twenty, right? Like February yeah. or. No, like January, it was early bef- February. It was like before that, even. I'm sure of it. Like it was, was before COVID the on the COVID periphery hit. at that point, or where is it? Because they sent. I'm just going back far enough. 2019, November 2019. Oh no! Yeah, <laughs> that's even worse. Yeah, so years, literally oh, man. years. <clears throat> but hey, it's good to know we've still got that roll off your tongue chemistry <laughs> <laughs> like no time has passed right and i love this idea that we're kind of looking at uh, some classic well we'll use classic and yeah classic meaning shows. old <laughs> but you know kind of genre television from the 80s that you know we revisit do you revisit it do you reboot it do you retcon it and just never talk about it again <laughs> <laughs> uh maybe in some cases definitely right and i thought i well, we chat. We chatted about it. We kind of found a title that we thought this could be fun, and we looked at the powers of Matthew Starr. Matthew Starr, right? Peter you Barton, know, Louis Peter Gossett Barton. Jr. Right? Peter Barton was your guy. I mean, one of them. I just thought he was pretty. I wanted to have powers. <laughs> or his hair. <laughs> or his hair. Oh man, that early '80s hair just flows. Right. It's yeah, I was it, I, just a little some of behind the scenes stuff that I found out was, well, Peter Barton, of course, did Friday the 13th, part four, New Beginning. Amy Steele, who plays Pam, was in Friday the 13th, part two. And then behind the scenes, even further, Harv Bennett was the series producer. And he did like, he went on to do like Star Trek two, three, four, five. Oh, man. Yeah. Leonard Nimoy directs an episode of The Powers of Matthew Starr. Oh, oh my God. And Walter <laughs> Koenig wrote an episode of Matthew Starr. And the whole wow. thing was like the brainchild of Stephen D'Souza. If you look mm-hmm. him up, he wrote Die Hard or had his hand in writing Die Hard and a whole bunch of other kind of middle of the road titles. Would we put this, this in the middle of the road? I don't know. <laughs> Do we throw it in the gutter on the side of the road? I don't know. <laughs> I mean, hard to tell from just the pilot. Yeah, I mean, you um, have to give it's them. It's not a little... fair to judge. You should do it. What is right. it? Three episodes, and then decide if you're going to keep watching. Yeah, because the the pilot is, you know, that's what sells it. But the wa- watching the first couple minutes of this thing the other day, I was just like, was everybody in high school always that old? Yeah. Nine zero two one zero. Right, <laughs> it just—I was just kind of blown away by how old everybody looked. I know, and nobody I knew in high school dressed like that. No, no, yeah. um, no, but <laughs> I mean, we'll see. <laughs> I guess right? well, in the next episode or two, perhaps. Right, and well, the whole premise is what is that? Uh, that Matthew is is like an alien. Who's been... He's an alien prince because he's a member right. of the ruling family, and that's why he has part has powers. And because Shep Louis doesn't. Gossett Jr., yeah, Shep does not have powers, but no. he's from the same planet. Right, and he's like his protector or whatever. Yeah, yeah. And they've been there for sixteen, at least sixteen years. So we're assuming that you know Matthew is supposed to be sixteen, and Pat can pass for twenty six, and can therefore <laughs> buy booze for everybody. I don't yeah, know. Seriously. <laughs> There's no Teen Wolf give me a keg of beer antics with him. Right? You can just straight up buy it. <laughs> yes. So what in the opening episode, we've got all this established. We've got um, a couple of alien, I'm going to say, bounty hunters who are yeah. trying to hunt them down. We didn't really get why. We weren't no. told why. That's but like they're bad. They're bad. <laughs> and you can tell because they like are a lot stiffer and less natural seeming and, and <laughs> drop contractions completely from their speech. Or maybe that was just acting in the Yeah. 80s. <laughs> <laughs> it's acting, damn it. I'm an actor. 
but But yeah yeah, like there was like for the time i guess like it the pilot had the components of a a decent like it it built the world it gave you totally it's a storyline without without making it too obvious or beating you over the head Mm-hmm. Like in the first few minutes, Matthew's like levitating a glass over so he can pour some <laughs> right. milk into it, which Oof. is the laziest use of powers ever. Well, that he moves the garbage bin. Yeah, well. I was going to say and taking the garbage cans out. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, yeah, no Superman. He's not going to yeah. go around saving people. He's just going to get himself a glass and, from and, the counter. Yeah. My not even the though. cupboard. He didn't even have to open anything. No. It was, sitting there it was right there. I'm just going to look. I'm going to show you my powers with this distant look on my face while yeah. I. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just going to look at it and it's going to come here. Yeah. But so, so my at thing least was, it wasn't, it wasn't, it didn't treat you like you were stupid exactly. There wasn't a lot of expository. There no. was some and it was right. like, but it was peppered in. throughout. Yeah. Um, my, I, I was kind of curious though if, uh, you know, Shep is obviously an alien, but who's getting him his jobs then? How do you get like, I know. As a teacher and references. He didn't even knock on the principal's door. He just I let himself know. in. <laughs> and, and he doesn't and have he was ready power, to leave so... after like the first day. Right? He was like, how do you not get like breach of contract or something? Yeah. And then, how, I mean, I get teaching is tough and then, you know, and it's tough in America, but he just walked into that job. <laughs> yeah. As a science teacher, though, to be fair. Yeah. Oh, and they're and a thousand years coach. ahead of us in terms of our scientific development. <laughs> like precisely a thousand years, <laughs> not a roundabout. Right. This date, no further. <laughs> yeah. We're exactly one thousand years ahead of you. Yeah, just so funny. <laughs> and then, and then the military just shows up and doesn't like. They're not cutting them up they're not they're like you know we'll let you go or whatever he just wants to have dinner man <laughs> I, I don't know if that guy actually works for the military anymore or not <laughs> i know <laughs> he just has the car he put a decal on there and <laughs> right and his name was what like f.u tucker or something like that F something yeah t- F. it J. was tucker. very close to i was like doing right. stuff in my brain with it i was like that's super close to you super close to being a bad word yeah <laughs> Yeah, and then what you had the uh, the the guy who's trying to win Pam slash mm-hmm. Amy Steele, the stereotypical yeah. bully guy, yeah. who's just angry for no reason, just walking right? into people. Yeah, whatever. Going to start that fight. <laughs> he just wants to. He's he's not even like like at least Johnny and the Karate Kid. They used to date, so I, yeah, yeah. There's some. He had there a reason to be there. angry and jealous, but. This guy, she hasn't given him the time of day yet, as far as I can tell. No, I I didn't understand that either. <laughs> Just so funny, though. And I've, I've got, so, I had made so many tons of notes, and, and I, I laughed, like, you know, they're, they're so worried about him revealing his powers, but all we see him do is, like, so he moves a couple things and apparently has telepathy when he needs it. Yeah. <laughs> but apparently, he halfway through it. the but series, But he's getting stronger. Yeah, they change it halfway through the series, so he starts doing more adventurey things and helping the government. And and like, was high school just not working out for him? I don't know. Yeah, I mean, when you can, you may as well. (laughs) Does he get extra credit? Yeah, (laughs) this is like an enrichment or uh, yeah, some kind of community service (laughs) credit. Anything like that? I don't know. Um, I I made a note because I was watching the the sequence because obviously the alien bounty hunters it's had you know one of them is a is a woman and you know she's there to try to flush out shep and whoever he's protecting and she's on the bus with her kilroy was here kind of expression and sets off something so it the brakes don't work anymore and they're racing through yes a constantly changing background that doesn't match from shot to shot <laughs> That's okay. <laughs> You're watching the action on the screen, not the right. background. <laughs> Please don't pay attention to the man behind the curtain. <laughs> <laughs> There's no one and there. Then, don't look. And then, you know, he, uh, you know, Matthew uses his telekinetic ability to stop the bus before it rolls over a cliff's edge. And watching everybody get out of the back of the bus, everybody gets out of the bus, but the driver. But the driver. But she was fine. I actually thought yeah, of that she's too. in the next scene. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she's. She's like, I don't know what stopped the bus. Well, I mean, how did you get out of the front? Because 
She was probably the first one out. We just didn't see it. I don't know. <laughs> right? She just runs past all the kids. Because <laughs> she was like off the cliff. So like yeah. her part of it, she couldn't have gone out the front door. So I just, yeah, it was, oh man. I'm like, yeah, continuity, not a big thing for 80s television. Apparently. No. <laughs> Which no, isn't yeah. true because some 80s television is, is pretty solid about that. Yeah. But well, again, I mean, we'll like find you said, out. <laughs> you, it's a pilot. So you got to give them a little leeway. Yeah. And I did like that, like, like they wrapped up that storyline right by the end of the pilot. So, yeah. like, if it hadn't been picked up, for example, I mean, it wouldn't have shown anyway, I guess, or <laughs> or might have. But like, like there wasn't anything at the end to go like dun dun dun. Like, stay tuned next week. Right. For... It was kind of yeah. self. And it was, well, what was enclosed? Yeah, yeah. It was. I mean, and a not lot of completely closed, but. At that time, had to be like episodic because yeah. everything has to go back to the status quo by the end of the episode because next week you might have all new viewers. Yeah, yeah. Which you know you can't have people tuning so in for the anymore. first time and not knowing what the heck is going on. Right. None of these previously on the powers of Matthew Star. Yeah. <laughs> That's all we had at that point too. Right? We couldn't just go online and look it up or it was... time shift or. <laughs> I mean, any of the as, the things, the PVR things. As much as I want to pick on Barton and his hair and 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 everything, he he's actually fairly solid in this. Yeah, and he's likable. I think um, the thing with both of them, um, them in particular, like even like the periphery people did a pretty good job. Mm -hmm. Um, except for the, you know, bully. Yeah, quote unquote. I mean, he's not and his receding to. hairline. <laughs> Hang on, I have to cough. All right. You doing? anyway um the thing with them i found was their sincerity like they inhabited the characters to a certain mm -hmm. degree it was, was much the same with mark hamill in in star wars well all of them really like they're they're like all right screw it we're in this world we're doing <laughs> i'm not it, gonna yeah. try and make sense of it i'm gonna be this character yeah and i'm just gonna sincerely go through every scene and feel whatever he may or may not be feeling i'm gonna own it yeah yeah. Whereas Lewis Gossett, he just seems a little more reserved and, and well, he's cool anyway. He's just cool. Yeah. He's like laid yeah. back with his shirt unbuttoned and his gold chain at the <laughs> right? end. I'm like, yeah, he's having yeah. a couple of drinks. He's relaxed. He's like, yep, you young kids do this and I'll just be over here guarding Matthew Starr. Yeah. <laughs> Even like being a science teacher when he's like, I get the sense you're not as enthusiastic about this as that I was am. great. He's like, because I've morning. known teachers like that. Science. <laughs> <laughs> he just, he just totally owned it. And he just, I love that. That was like, I, if I had to pick like a favorite moment from the episode, that was it. Yeah. Yeah. Cause he just, yeah, he was so much fun. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, yeah. woo, science, let's go. Could you, I mean, I was going to, do we even talk about rebooting it? Because they've done, like, they've done Roswell since then. They've yeah. done Roswell twice. There's been a then. lot of, uh, yeah. yeah. And it's it's almost the same thing. Because they've yeah. got, they had their little powers. And, you know, or, or, you know, using the whole kind of high school as template for the horrors of life kind of thing. So, like, Buffy's done that. And, yeah. And... 90210 has done that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of high school angst. Although, I mean, um, you know. It, and I mean, that's the thing, right? Like, the, it's all, everybody feels like a fish out of water in high school. Right? So it's kind that's, of, it's just yes, like couching well, it in a different way. I think that was my big thing with it is that, yeah, you're absolutely right. Peter Barton owns his role and just kind of says, I'm doing this. But at no point do you get the sensation that he's uncomfortable with anything. He's just like, yeah, he can, he can handle everything. He I moves mean, around like every other day, <laughs> every yeah. couple of weeks. And yet he's fine. Yeah. He's <laughs> no good at making there. new friends. Yeah. <laughs> it's no all emotional good. trauma. No PTSD from like his parents sending him to a whole nother planet. <laughs> yeah. Well, didn't he say he was like just months old or something when they yeah, died? Yeah, and they say they've been there for sixteen years. So, like yeah. I said, he's that he's looking really he's old 16. for sixteen. Maybe they age differently in California. Not to mention, yeah, he Quantaris. said it was very close to same. Well, yeah, yeah maybe there's <laughs> so much sun. 
<laughs> it, I don't know. It's science. Science, Sue. It's science. Science. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, I, I'm not going to say I don't like the idea. Because, I mean, you know, high school is, you know, template for horror and everything is always yeah. good and exploration. It's you great. Anything in a high school. And that's. Yeah. And everybody can relate. Everybody's just trying to figure out who they are at that point. Yeah. So it's easy so, enough to. Right. So I don't know. But I'd like to see a younger cast if they did it. Yeah. Like, like a little more age appropriate. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's the thing, too. Like, it's kind of like like writing, too. Like, if you're. Um, you basically have to if your target audience is 10 then you want to write about like 12 year olds or something like something oh, yeah. that they want yeah. to aspire to so maybe that's why if they're targeting teenagers they need somebody who's not a teenager because yeah yeah no i, I we don't look at sure our peers that. the yeah. same as we do when we're, when we're young at least as right. we do look up to people so yeah maybe no, that that's true but just yeah but yeah, you look at just, yeah, um, Stranger Things, younger. and right? I'm pretty sure that. Oh appeals yes, to, I mean that appeals to adults too. Yeah. <laughs> so I Stranger guess Things around, a great but that's example. the nostalgia factor. Yeah, but um, but yeah, like, do will kids look at other kids, mm -hmm. other teenagers, and be like, yeah, <laughs> let's go. <laughs> I can see your five o'clock shadows coming in there. Yeah, <laughs> you need to shave, little one. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah it's just i just loved like digging into the you know all of it to kind of find out what happened behind the scenes and, yeah and just all the people who were actually involved you're like well like i said like half those names were you know have done other big things yeah you're just like i want to see the one leonard nimoy directed right? <laughs> so it's just oh man it's, it boggles the mind but everybody everybody was doing television well no they were they were so precise about you know keeping what movie stars away from television yes television acting was a whole different ball game then. yeah like yeah. a lesser one usually right? it's weird how that's reversed. not now no. <laughs> <laughs> so i mean yeah would you recast it would you reboot it would you retcon it what would you do so i wouldn't retcon it i still like as much as I was shaking my head, part of me was like, <laughs> and I can see you doing that. It's <laughs> like, oh, Matthew Star, <laughs> like, oh man. I mean, part of it too is the uh, the fact that it was obviously recorded off television. <laughs> like, you get oh, yeah. the little cut when the, there's a commercial stuff. It's very well done. Mm -hmm. Whoever uh, put it together, but yeah, it was like, oh man, <laughs> I remember those days. Right, and for those of you listening, you can actually find the first episode of the Powers of Matthew Star on YouTube. We wanted to make sure that you know, for stuff like this, if you can get your hands on a copy to watch with us or talk about, yeah. it'd be so much more fun. Yeah, but yeah, it was just oh, and that man. one is all like yeah. one video, whereas it yeah. looks like the rest of them are episode two, one of seven. <laughs> like you have to watch it in little right. chunks. Because uh, they were put up, I think, when I back it. when YouTube only let you do the 10, 15 minutes at a time or whatever. Anyway. <laughs> you know, back then. <laughs> back in those days when there was a YouTube right? still. <laughs> Way after the 80s. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Way after. Yeah, I think I, I just, I'm kind of with you that I don't want to retcon it. I don't know if I'd want to reboot it revisit maybe like i mean especially yeah, it would now, have to be... like you said with like stranger things and stuff there's such a nostalgia yeah you know you could kind of do it with you know 80s music and make it like it would like... almost be good to do it in that time period in that same mm -hmm. time period instead of now right i mean because you know i i was in the first three seconds of the episode where you see like the ship come down i'm like oh you know they're riffing on uh, et there for a minute and yeah you know, so they, they obviously were drawing from the influences around them. It was just they didn't have maybe the budget they deserved. Yeah. yeah. And I mean, even with a lesser budget now, you could make something that looks far better. And, oh, my God. Right. <laughs> um, you would have to there would have to be something more to the hook, I think. Yeah. In order to to play right, to, 
get people now. in. Yeah. Yeah. It's like, oh, yeah, yet another story about kids in high school who are nice. Yeah. Kids. Yeah. Been there. Oh, telepathy <laughs> and <laughs> telekinesis. Right. Oh, here we go. My PC will restart in a few moments. So stay tuned. Well, I just got a warning that our meeting's ending soon. So yeah, yeah. We I've can got... also uh, cut it and. Uh, yeah. But yeah, my, my I've got to discuss sit, like... Matthew Starr a little more later on. Yeah, I've got to sit like 23 minutes. So even still, that's pretty good. Yeah. For yeah, a first I think time it's like out. a 10 minute countdown at this point. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm doing it. So yeah, I'm going to keep talking until it, it cuts out. Anyway. <laughs> but yeah, no, this is good for a first little test of the water thing for sure. Yeah. And I'm so glad, like, you know, we could both watch it, which is like the big thing. Cause I yeah. know. Cause I totally want to do Voyagers. I just need to find a way to get my hands on like the first episode of Voyagers. To yeah. Do it. Yeah. Yeah. No, it'll be fun. I know. I have it on the, I have this set, obviously. Or no, Voyagers. Yes, I do. Oh no. Tim's gone. So I guess I'll just stop recording. <laughs>